Doesn't even look to throw. Just takes off again. This is a one-man show. Now a flag is down as Gray was out there blocking for him. Holding number 74 offense. 10-yard penalty from spot of foul. Good play, first down. That's the center, Taylor Doyle. And a big, big penalty. Met with Taylor yesterday. And uh, he was talking about the excitement of having this type of quarterback in there. Well, <laughs> not much. No, I, you know, the jersey pulled up, but that's where you're putting your hands. I don't know that he was slowing down. Uh, that's a big penalty for what I just saw there. I, I'm not saying it's a bad call, but man, he wasn't yanking the guy down or turning his shoulders. Just his hand got a little bit to the outside. Give it to Deontay Freeman. <laughs> And there is a flag down on the play. Holding number 55 offense. Ten yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay second down. That is a star in the making. Freshman left tackle Connor Williams. Pressure coming this time. Rudolph just throws it up for grabs and it's picked off. Intercepted by Chris Boyd. Mason Rudolph with the worst throw of the day. There is a flag down back in Texas territory. I think they're going to get a personal foul roughing the passer. Roughing the passer. Number 93 defense. 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. That's Paul Boyette Jr. Totally unnecessary. Oh, I, I don't know how you call that. I, you know, the, the throw was just made. The guy was pulling off Boyette. Boy, this is a huge penalty. I, I know they're trying to protect him. Officials are told safety first. If it's close, call it. But I, this one, to me, with Boyette, I, I think you pull the flag back. This is not egregious. There's a turnover. It's such a huge play, and you can't you can't wait for that. Um, it didn't look to me like contact went. They didn't make contact with Ed. They're always trying to protect that. I, I, I think you wave that off. I'm, I, you cannot call that, I don't think. I, I get it's about safety, but, boy, that's an awfully big call for what looked like a bump just after the guy threw the ball. A huge call. Shepard on the jet sweep. In the NFL, if there's contract, contact, to a quarterback's head. It's a penalty regardless. In college, the official has to make a judgment call. Well, this was a personal foul roughing call, and I just didn't see it. Uh, again, there was, it looked a tad late, but Boyette was pulling off. There wasn't much of a hit to the quarterback. Just uh, for competitive reasons, wouldn't, would have liked to see that not called. What a change of momentum. Jay Johnson. This time, no running room taken down to 15. There is a flag down on the play. Chad Whitener made the tackle on special teams, and we'll check out this marker. Well, they're talking a lot today, aren't they? Rather get it right than wrong. I'd rather have him get it right quickly. <laughs> and, and going back to the roughing call that, you know, we these officials are hammered about safety first. And so a lot of times they'll throw that flag when they see that contact. I think you go back and you look at it slow motion, you can obviously be more there critical. Two fouls during the return, holding 40 receiving team. Half the distance to the goal after the play was over. Personal foul, number 47 receiving team. Half the distance to the goal. First down. And this offensive line, which has had its struggles, playing pretty well. Foreman turns the corner, got a block. Touchdown, Texas. There is a flag on the play. John Burt on the corner gave him the block that sprung him. How many 
big penalty. Can Texas overcome? Nine penalties against the Longhorns in the first half, and they all seem to be big. Holding was the call. We could not hear the official as Mike was going in and out. But Said 77, Patrick Vahe, another freshman offensive lineman. Vahe, the right guard. Let's go back and look at that holding call. We're having a hard time finding who the call would have been on. And it's not the right guard, Vahe. I, I didn't see any holding on that play. I mean, at the very end there, John Burton, the freshman, but his hands were inside. I saw two cut blocks by offensive linemen. And Rudolph has had trouble. Now Walsh wants to run a quarterback draw. Flag is down, so is the football. And Texas has it. Well, that looked to me. No signal yet. Now they're going to say Oklahoma State had it. Watch, watch this in real time. So the officials now they go in and they, they just start pulling guys off to see who has the ball. And as they get down to the bottom. They said Walsh had it. But uh, of course he lets go of the ball once the officials say White has it. Didn't matter that uh, Nishon Hughes ended up with it. Yeah, I'm not when really it, sure why this is taking so long. You, you couldn't. We see everything that the uh, uh, officials see. Yeah, we give the, the replays we have go right to the replay booth. And there's not really anything there that you would say could overturn it. It doesn't really matter who has a ball at the end. After the whistle blows, the official is already determined that somebody has it. it. Yeah. Charlie Strong voicing his opinion. After review, the ruling on the field stands. There's no clear recovery by the fumble by either team. The ten yard penalty for the holding by number 74 of the offense will be enforced. It's I don't, third down. I don't mean to be picky, but that took about two and a half minutes more than it should have. The running back child shifts in motion, second down. Rudolph with time. Throws over the middle. Incomplete. Flag coming in, thrown way back. Upfield by the field judge. It's going to be a spot foul on the first down. James Washington, the intended target. Charlie Strong, irate about this pass interference call that's coming against Texas. Pass interference, number two, defense. Ball will be placed. Spot a foul. Automatic first down. Chris Boyd, spot foul at the 44 yard line of Texas. A first down for Oklahoma State. First and 10, 3.54 to go. Oklahoma State with two timeouts remaining. Longhorns have all three of their timeouts. Texas a 27-24 lead. First down and 10. Out of the shotgun. Rudolph with a snap. Turns, hands it to Child. Hesitates and then wrapped up. Another flag comes down. Hassan Ridgeway wraps up Rennie Childs and drops him at the 44 for no gain. Now let's check yet another flag. Well, I think 73. Oh, my goodness. Oh. This is going against Texas on a running play on first down. Holding, number 95, defense. Oh, my gosh. Said your opponent, Huna Ford called for the hold. How many times did you see that? Defensive holding on a run? Hard to remember last time I've seen that, if ever. Now it's down to the Texas 34, and another flag is coming. Oh, my goodness. Have they thrown a flag on Charlie Strong? Unsportsmanlike conduct on the Texas bench. 15-yard penalty. This Big 12 crew is out of control. Out of control. You never, ever see that happen. Unbelievable. 15-yard penalty. Rabbit ears on the part of the Big 12 officiating crew, and it'll be first and 10 for Oklahoma State at the Texas 19. Wow. Fans booing their displeasure. I, I can't remember the last time. No, back-to-back -back head scratchers. 
The snap is down, the kick on the way, and the kick is good. And the game is tied with a minute 33 to go, 27-27. Fans still booing, and I don't blame them. At the very least, what you hope, Roger, is that a pool reporter or something will get a statement from the officials on what this is, because otherwise it's just going to be another situation of Texas submitting plays to the Big 12 office and Walt Anderson saying, well, I see where you're coming from on that, but I stand by my guys. Yeah, which which means nothing now. And, and the other thing is an, a defensive holding on a run play by uh, Puna Ford. He was locked up, and I thought he got held. That's what I was thinking when I, I watched the replay, and they were getting ready for the call. But I don't know that I have ever seen this. 16 penalties for 128 yards. Just not even sure what, how in the world they would call 95 for defensive holding there. Bad snap and it's kick. Are you kidding? Kicked out of bounds. Oh my heavens. Rogan, perfect. <laughs> Leaving only six seconds on the clock. And for the fourth consecutive time, Oklahoma State comes to Darrell Royal Texas Memorial Stadium and beats the Longhorn. 16 penalties from this team, including one on the head coach. How can you expect your players not to get penalties if you get one on the sideline? I, I don't know. I'm, I can't agree. That's a subjective call. I mean, I, I, I want to look in the history of how many times a head coach has been has been flagged for for a uh, what was it? It's what unsportsmanlike was conduct. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Yeah. yeah. It's a subjective call. It, I, I don't it think is it's, subjective. I don't think it's fair to to compare that to a pass interference or something where you can have film and, and review it and say, okay, it but, was truly a penalty. And there were frustrating calls throughout the course of the game. I'm yeah, right. calls I'm saying there's frustrating calls throughout the course of the history of, of college football. Right. I, and how, I mean, I, how many times do you watch television and you see a, a head coach get in, a, in the referee's face? I, I see it almost every game I watch, and I think maybe once in my life I've seen I've seen a flag thrown on, on the coach. What do you think was the difference? Well, yeah, I'm not going to – well, I'm, I'm sure it's an emotional game, and I'm sure, you know, as many flags as have been thrown, I'm sure it's – turns into like a habitual pattern of reaching into your pocket and throwing a flag. And I think also the fans getting into the game and people getting upset about the 16 penalties, 16 flags thrown, it's just a lot of flags. Yeah. I think maybe this this crew is just flag happy. You know, yeah, they, they, this crews suck, actually, because they did some calls <laughs> that I don't even understand. Watching it, all kind of things. You call holding, you call all kind of unnecessary calls that you know that did not happen. And then I understand the frustration of Coach Strong on that call. And I understand what you're saying, David Timer, but I understand what the frustration. He got to protect his team, and I really feel like them refs really did call some bad calls.